Hello friends, this is Jagbir Singh and today we are going to learn a very important and kind of a difficult topic. We are going to make a, a Revit family of a pump and it needs to be very well detailed and accurate in terms of the shape and all the parameters along with it. So now I, uh, I will, uh, I will uh, make this video in such a way that I was in a situation a uh, few weeks ago so I will explain that situation to you uh, so I have to place a pump in a plant room and uh, uh, and uh, uh, the supplier which is supplying our pump uh, is not having a actual Revit family of their pump so but what they have is uh, they have a PDF uh, of technical submittal of the pump uh, with all the technical data and design data of the pump and he have it he have a 3d file of the pump so now what i have to do is like i have to convert that 3d file of the pump into a solid uh, revit family with all the parameters in it so so there uh, you might end up in the same situation uh, in which i was few weeks earlier and you have to make your own family of the components of the mechanical equipments or or any other but if you know this this method then you won't be stuck stuck uh, uh, without a Revit family if you have a 3d family or or let's say 2d uh, CAD CAD drawing or 3d CAD drawing so so we will uh, uh, I will explain this to you step by step so, but before we go uh, I want to make a request if any of you want to learn Revit MEP from me uh, in a standard of uh, like handling projects and like with the with, uh, with the considering like uh, working in industry f straight on then you can contact me on my email address so here is my email address you you just uh, send your email on this monimalik and 73 at gmail.com and we can talk further on that so now uh, let me show you the 3d CAD drawing which I have of the pump so this is the this is a 3d drawing of the pump so this is a willow pump willow is the supplier so so they have sent across this particular family so i uh, this particular drawing so i have to make a, a revit family out of this one so now i'm going to it is not uh, that difficult it is just a concept which you have to grab on so in order to go forward so now i am going to create a new family and I have to pick uh, I'm working in metric system so I'm going with metric generic model here okay so in my reference level what I will do is like I will go and in insert and whenever you have to bring a CAD reference a 2d or 3d you have to go always in insert and import CAD so I'm going and import CAD then I'm going on so this is my CAD so there is one part uh, I will go through these options so the most important option here is this one current view only so if you if you tick this current view only then what it will do is like your 3d will be only visible in one particular view in which you are importing in but if you want to show this into uh, if you want to keep it visible in all the views like the 3d views the section views the floor plan everything then you must have to tick uh, you untick this thing if you want to like let's say if you want to import any any floor plan layout into uh, into your own Revit floor plan then you have to keep only let's say if you are importing a second floor level uh, CAD as a background in your uh, on Revit uh, floor plan of second floor then you do not need to see the, this on third floor or fourth floor in that case you can only uh, take current view only so now I'm going and keeping my correct lines that are slightly off axis on and I'm going to open it okay so now you can see uh, my uh, my 3d CAD is imported I have to unpin it now if I go in my 3d view and I keep this a fine and 
shaded you can see it is converted into a solid but that's not how it's done because if you go into reference level you see this family seems very big so to cross check and to validate that information i have a technical submittal of that pump which is supplied to me by the supplier so let me show you that so this is the 2d and this is the technical data of that pump so in which you can see the from the controller to controller the width is 400 okay and and the total height of the pump from the lowest point to the uh, to the top of the pump to, or top of the controller is 252 plus 59 so I have to scale my drawing according to the to the units which I am currently using in my project so I have to make one uh, one uh, side equal to an uh, equivalent unit of my project so so let's say we are keeping uh, like 59 plus 252 so so let me so one sec so it is 59 plus 252 equals to 311 okay so i have to go here and select this I have unpinned it and move it okay so I am creating a line here or let's say li is the shortcut and i have to make it as 311 311 so your total family length should be this much so i have to select it now i have to scale down so that is my scale okay so my total height should be this much so if I again further go and scale down and if I pick now so I'm from the top most again I have to scale it okay so now the scale of my family is equal to the scale of my project units so now I am keeping this into center so that it comes I want to control by the uh, by the connection points of the pipe so these two are the flanges of my family so now I can show you in 3d so let me tell you about so the flanges which are connecting to this family are of 32 dia and these are the two separate controllers to control the flow of the pump okay so now what I have to do is like I have to create two connections to this family so that it can be connected on both sides on my project to the pipes of same diameter without any reducer so what I will do is like I will go in create and I will go uh, my pipe connector and I am selecting this edge when I am going on to outer edge it will give me a blue line as my face so I am selecting this and same I will do on the other side so I am selecting the outer what the, it is the internal so this is the outer again so now you see the two connectors are very big so I will select and I will cross check how big they are I will go in diameter so my diameter it was saying in my technical submittal as thirty two. it should say 
you see here pipe connection on the section side on the pressure side both the side it is 32 so I am going to select my both the connector and make it as 32 the second thing is flow direction I what I now you can see they have been reduced so I will select it and I will say system classification I will keep it as global why I am keeping it global because uh, uh, whatever the system which is connecting on either side it will pick automatically from that system and it will not give me error so this way my family is okay and and I can save this family as my Velo pump 32 okay so I can save it now I have saved it in 2019 always say try to save your families into the oldest version not the earliest version because in that way you can always update them so so I have a request to all of you that please like this video because it uh, it I, I, I know it is very difficult to find such videos because when I have to learn I do not find like the problem uh, solving videos so please like the video because it helps me to reach out more people and really motivates me and please subscribe to my channel because I will be keeping posting such videos related to project problems and and together we can learn so this is Jagbir Singh thank you Jai India Jai Bharat